Well, people from all walks of life are now fighting for Ukraine, where every adult male between the age of 18 and 60 has been asked to stay behind and defend their country. Taras Topolia is the frontman of pop rock band Antilia. Here's what he was doing up until a month ago. version of you for tomorrow. So Taras enlisted when the war broke out and is now a soldier serving on the front line, delivering medical aid to wounded military personnel. I spoke to him earlier and asked about the drastic changes in his circumstances and if he ever felt in danger of losing his life. <laughs> you never know what happened next time. You know, just now we are talking with you, but next second the missile can hit this uh, building and I will die. You never know what happens. It is war. So, but uh, I want to say that we see it here from the inside of, of the battlefield that Russians have no uh, power to take the capital of <coughs> Ukraine. So. They can do just only one thing. They are preparing for chemical attack, and we also preparing for their chemical attack. So the last two days we uh, we were searching for chemical defense suites and for medical treatment. So all that they can do in this situation is just to escalate this war by using a chemical weapon, a chemical uh, attack. So, but we are ready. And, you know, it's unbelievable that we are talking about this now. Just imagine, may, one month ago, <laughs> I was on the stage. We gathered at stadiums in our country. Uh, but now we are talking about this. It's, it's terrible. This is really surreal for you, isn't it? It's just... Yeah, a, it, it, yeah. it's absolutely surreal. So I didn't ever imagine that I will speak about this uh, with with you, with uh, international journalists, will uh, with uh, Al Jazeera. It's it's unbelievable. Uh, uh, months ago, I just want to play the music to make people happy and to uh, give the light, you know, from light from the heart. Do you still think but about that? Now I now I need to defend, like like it. Like it do uh, all of my friends, all of my colleagues. Of course, you were a musician before, and you were performing on stage. And you mentioned that your uh, your colleagues are also uh, have are also involved in the same way that you are now. Do you? Is it your hope that you will uh, you'll return to music after this? I know that it will be. You know, we in Ukraine, we're not uh, telling if we won, if we win. We're just telling when we win. So when we win, Auntie Tila will go back to the stage. And uh, mm, now in our hands, we are playing in our stadium tours. So like we, we like imagine that it happened, that it now uh, happens. So when you imagine it, it, it can, it came true. You're imagining what it will be like when this is over. Yeah. When this is when this will be over, we will play song and uh, play music and and of course we will write a new song. It's difficult new question, songs. and it's a difficult question to answer this, but because obviously you are still in the thick of it right now. But how how has this experience changed you? You know, the main thing that I understand. Uh, that the most valuable and, and important things in, in, in my life, it is simple things. It's like hugs of uh, my wife. It's like smiles of my children. I have three children. So I understand that money and, and uh, like property, uh, cars, boards, it's it's not a valuable it's not a value no the value is simple things like the emotion that you 
that you have from your from your family from your friends because uh, everything that you think that it is valuable lost this valuable so every day i haven't seen eyes to eyes my wife for one month also my kids so every day i'm dreaming about that i'm thinking about them and uh, just remember how it was before the war so exactly what changed uh, my life and made a truly essence about what is important and what is not.